Today I want to tell you five fun ways that you can count vertices on 3D shapes and it's going to be more meaningful to the kids. Let's get started. 3D shapes coming at you. Get yourself a solid and get yourself some dough, clay, or putty. You actually take this and put a little putty on every vertex. Just feel that point and really get an understanding of what vertex mean. It's a pointy part. But they're going to have a highly visual. Look how much that pops out, that putty. That is jumping out at your eyes, and they're feeling it every time they put it on. They can count as they put it on, count as they take it off, and count as they line it up. You can lay them out. One, two, three, and eight. There's eight, and I'm looking at the cube. There's none left. So that way I'm not double and triple counting. On 2D shapes, you'll know they'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You've seen it happen. Imagine how hard it is to keep track of which vertex you've counted here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh oh, where did I start? Where did I stop? I have no idea. This will help you keep track. Coming down here for our art minded students, you could have them construct their own cube with a putty or a dough or a clay. Once they've crafted the shape out of putty, which is great because it's gonna show you this isn't a square, it's made up of six different squares. What you can do to emphasize the vertice or the vertex is pinch it, make a little horn. And that's two. How many horns do you have to make? Oh my goodness, it's almost like a C and an enemy. Try saying that one time slowly, and I can even smush it to recount. One, two, three, four. You get the idea. 3D shapes. Don't ever throw stuff at the camera. I only did it because I'm a trained expert. I could have been a professional baseball player. And you know what baseball players throw? Spheres. As you can see, this is for your builder. It's hands on, and it's actually tongue on. You can use your sense of taste because. This is made out of edible materials. Now I say use your protein bar. And then you can count as you eat. How many vertices? What? Don't let, don't eat it, because I'm still doing the video. Okay, I'll eat it later. But I could pick these off, lay them out, count it, and then count again as I eat them and get my nutritious, protein-laden, nutrient-dense snack. Moving to the tiny cube, take the marker, and again, in the name of keeping track, a nice black mark there. There's one, two, three, four. It's a good way so they don't double count or undercount. And once you have every black mark on and you count it eight, you can double check by erasing. One, two, three. Let's see if I can do this at the same time. Ah, outtake. Everyone makes mistakes. You gotta roll through them and keep on trucking. Get something that's transparent or translucent, like a magnetile, and hold that right next to it so they can see what are you trying to depict. Because if you just show them this, that is just gonna look like a weird 2D shape to a small child. You have to show them where you got it from. So as a matter of fact, you can hold this up as you show them how to draw it or as you show them the 2D picture. And better yet, have them make it. If the child can play connect the dots, lay out some dots, blue, blue, red, red. And as you're holding this and they start connecting it, hopefully they have that aha moment where they go, oh, you weren't drawing a crazy hexagonal spider web. You were showing me a 2D representation of this cube. You can have a couple of cross points here that look like corners to a child, but they're not corners. The corners are just where the colored dots are. So then they come through and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there you have it. Five ways to count vertices on 3D shapes that are meaningful and fun for kids. And hey, you're in luck. If you love stuff with shapes, especially 3D shapes, I'm your guy. We've got a couple other videos. If you haven't checked them out, they're some of the favorites. 
that I know of from other people. So please do, of course, like, subscribe. And on these videos I gear towards parents and teachers, you can comment about what you liked, what you'd like to see in the future. Appreciate all your support and have yourself a great day.